Well, hello, everyone. Welcome into this Mercury Retrograde Tower reading. And my, 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 we have a connection resurfacing that has a formality left in play after it was once something that was greatly celebrated. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Mercury Retrograde Tarot reading. It's a general reading, and I say that lightly, because for me personally, Mercury Retrograde is kind of a Murphy's Law kind of period, where everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But for me, it's usually something with my car or any of the technology that I use. And if you were patient with me these la this last week, um, where I had plenty of snafus regarding my tech and editing processes, then you already know. <laughs> I'm going to dig into another one of these as I did this last Sunday and do the same sort of format. So we're going to pick one card that is the what or the theme and the other that is the who that is resurfacing. Okay. The what. Oh, okay. Death shall not take him. Number three is the what. So this is the it, it's not over kind of energy. The who. Confetti. Interesting. Number 34 reduced to a seven. It's coming across as a very animated person. I'm going to read the blurbs for her cards because they usually offer more insight and they're just lovely. So for death shall not take him, it says, you are going to witness the impossible made possible. Whatever you think is lost is not. Whatever thing you think you cannot be shall be. The universe is going to intervene and what seems to be over shall in new way live again. That's not Mercury retrograde. I don't know what is, guys. <laughs> I don't know what is. Let's see. Confetti. This is the person that's returning. You will soon have cause for celebration. Ooh, is that where you guys are here to meet? Whether a big win or a token gain, affirming that the best is yet to come, sweet success is headed your way. Prepare to celebrate. Is, is that how you cross paths? Celebration? Whether simply out with friends or... Friends and family at a wedding kind of thing? It, it really could be anything. That's going to be interesting. So the thing that you thought was dead in the water is going to live in some way again. Hmm. Prompted by a reason to celebrate. Very interesting. Okay. Show me what happened. Nine of Pentacles underneath that, sing that singular energy. Let's get into it. Nine of Swords, Four of Wands, Eight of Swords, Judgment, Four of Coins. Mm -hmm. There's the event again, the Four of Wands. Is that how you guys met? Because Four of Wands often depicts a wedding. There's two people under the canopy kind of celebrating, getting married. Um, it's, usually, it's Yes, it's a twin flame number. Yes, it's 11-11. It's all these, these meanings. But it's like, we've got celebration here. Hmm. Did both people have cold feet at this? Were both people really... Nervous? I'm not saying you're. this is you and this person that got married. I'm not saying that. Could be. Death shall not take him to think. It, it could be. Sure, because we have judgment. That's a resurrection sort of energy. Interesting. Did someone's ex 
ballast be resurfacing? Interesting. Okay. Let's let's keep going. <laughs> hey priestess, card of Pisces, Knight of Swords, the Fool, Seven of Cups. Hmm. So one person in this connection knew that this was rushed into too quickly. At least one person. Whoever has either the stronger intuition or the Pisces in their chart. I know that they rushed into this too quickly. So perhaps you guys did get married. Wow. Two of Wands. Empress, card of Taurus and Libra, three of swords, five of coins, three of coins, seven of swords. Interesting. Yeah, you guys got married. Taurus and Libra, Pisces, Aquarius, with the moon and the star with the page of wands. Hmm. This, for someone, this feels, do I make the choice to stay be wife, mother kind of thing, or do I go and start all over again? It feels like the feminine is having this, had this conversation in her own mind for a while, while thinking on what to do while pregnant. Thinking what to do while pregnant. She really feels like she's stuck in a spot here. Nine of coins. Understanding that should have remained in um, singular energy longer, regardless of the two of cups, the soul bond that this was. It's not necessarily like we got married too young. It's it's we got married too fast. Those are those are different things. Sag energy there with the temperance. Hmm. Show me him with the Eight of Swords here. Kind of guard, ended up being guarded, isolating themselves away from the feminine. Holding back. Show me judgment. Virgo energy there with the Hermit. King of Wands, Ten of Wands, Knight of Coins. It feels like that energy of where they kind of let the feminine break up with them, even though they didn't want to be there. Very much that energy of not wanting to be the bad guy. Show me the seven of cups. Fighting their heart space. King of cups. Someone was too immature for marriage and it's coming across as the masculine. And I don't mean that to shit on masculines in general. It's like it's coming up as that's him. That's that's him. Or the feminine now understands she has to start all over kind of thing. I don't know what happened if the kid was had or not had or a pregnancy scare was avoided or blah, blah, blah. But like there, there's the notion of keeping thoughts a secret, possibly a pregnancy a secret, while this has been kind of crumbling ever since saying I do. And this has already happened. Okay, because we're viewing what happened in order to make this person come back. Okay. Um, she realizes just how much it's going to hurt her to put herself out in the cold, put the connection out in the cold and start all over again. But these are just scenarios she's running through her mind of what do I do it's like am I going to be stuck will I be stuck here if I do get pregnant and it's that whole hamster wheel all the while he is struggling against his heart space fully guarded pushing away instead of if you're pushing away connection instead of running toward it that, that, that's a big problem. That's a big problem. Okay. 
um, of wanting to be set free as it becomes more overwhelming for them, but dragging their feet in doing so. So letting her break up with him kind of thing instead of him being the bad guy. I'll be darned. There is an ego lesson here for the masculine. And there is a is a planning lesson here for the feminine. Hmm. Show me the fool. Yeah, I should have waited till we were more stable. King of uh, Pentacles, Eight of Coins, Death. So Taurus, Scorpio Energy. Should have waited until we were more stable. Then the situation could change. Into more. Okay. What about Temperance here, please? The Temperance card. Yeah, this would have been a bigger win. Yeah, had you guys waited. It would have been a Ten of Cups. It would have been a Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. So I don't... I, this feels like tough choices were made based on who the two of you were at the time. Now this masculine is going to resurface and this was something that could have been a ten of cups had the time been taken instead of the rush. Okay. So yeah, it was painful. Hell yeah, it was painful. The desire to balance up after a great disappointment. So what does this masculine really want? Well, come on. Don't fall apart on me. What does this masculine really want? Interesting. Hierophant, card of Taurus, devil, card of Capricorn, justice, card of Libra, sun. Are you guys finishing legal proceedings? Divorce? Yeah, it looks like it. What does he want? This masculine tries to not pay attention to what the feminine is doing with her life now. Basically, they're trying not to care. They're trying not to care. So this looks like the finishing of legal proceedings. Yeah. And she's she's learning. Yep. This is that situation where he finds out she's actually what he's always needed. She's finding out how she should have planned it. Like the pace of it all. Kind of thing. In order to ensure success. Hmm. If this was a whirlwind romance kind of thing, that's that's what set it up for failure there. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So possibly signing final papers on the commitment that turned towards the devil. Not what, not wishing to move forward in the Ten of Pentacles, but still trying to not be curious about her. It's an interesting one. Yeah. That's an interesting one. All right. Okay. Then I'll see what's going on with him in the extended I'll see what's going on with him in his current situation, uh, the near future, and the final outcome of this connection, because it says that he's the one resurfacing, so I don't know if it's for you guys to f the, do the final signature on like court settlement stuff, um, but we'll see what the final outcome is. If you guys are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirits, advice, as well as timing. Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.